Lesson 174. Write for the Sacrament of Matrimony. How can Catholics best obtain God's blessing on their marriage? Catholics can best obtain God's blessing on their marriage by being married at a nuptial mass and by receiving Holy Communion devoutly. Marriage rites are not the same throughout the Church. The following is the ceremony now used in our country. Entrance into the church and access to the altar. The bridegroom and bride go to the altar with their parents or friends, simply or in solemn procession. All participants should be aware of the presence of the most blessed sacrament in the tabernacle and behave accordingly. If mass is to be said, the bridal party take their proper places in specially prepared pews. This is the only occasion when lay people are permitted to remain in the sanctuary. Prayer and Instruction Before Marriage The priest stands at the foot of the altar, while all kneel, and prays a short invocation asking for the blessing of God. He then delivers a sermon, or reads the instruction before marriage. The Sealing of the Marriage Bond All stand facing the priest. The bridegroom stands to the right of the bride. Addressing the man by name, the priest asks, N, will you take N, here, present, for your lawful wife, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? He replies, I will. Turning to the bride, the, priests ask, the priest asks, N, will you take N, here, present, for your lawful husband, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? She replies, I will. Having understood the mutual consent of both parties, the priest instructs the couple to join hands. He then places the end of the stole around their hands, and turning first to the groom and then to the bride, says, Say after me, I, N, take you, N, for my lawful wife or husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Confirmation of the Marriage Bond the priest, in Latin, pronounces the words of sanction and blessing. I join you in matrimony in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. As he speaks, he makes over the couple the sign of the cross. Then he says, I call upon all of you here present to be witnesses of this holy union which I have now blessed. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. After this he sprinkles them with holy water. <clears throat> Blessing and giving of the wedding rings. The priest saying a short prayer blesses the rings, symbol of faithfulness, and sprinkles them with holy water. He then addresses the groom and bride. Now that you have sealed a truly Christian marriage, give these wedding rings to each other, saying after me. The groom accepts the, from the hand of the priest the ring for the bride, puts it on the third finger of the bride's left hand, while repeating the words of a priest, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, take and wear this ring as a pledge of my fidelity. The bride, likewise receiving the other ring, repeats the same words while putting the ring on the third finger of the groom's left hand. <coughs> the Blessing of the Groom and of the Bride The priest recites Psalm 127, the Our Father, some versicles and a prayer, then extending his hands over the bride and groom, he says five beautiful invocation prayers of blessings. At the end he adds, For our Lord Jesus Christ, his Son, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, world without end. Amen. The Nuptial Mass and Blessing The priest offers the nuptial mass for the married couple. The nuptial blessing is given during the canon of the mass, after the Pater Noster, it is directed to the woman rather than to the man. On only one other occasion, when the bishop blesses the holy oils at the Chrism Mass on Holy Thursday, is the canon of the Mass thus interrupted at its most solemn part. This is part of the prayer for the bride. May this yoke that she is taking on herself be one of love and peace. The Farewell After the Mass, the priest says to the spouses, Go in peace, and may the Lord be with you always. They reply, Amen. 
Kissing the Wedding Ring The married couple may now kiss together the wife's wedding ring, reciting devoutly, Grant us, O Lord, that loving you we may love one another and live in accordance with your holy law. Mass of Thanksgiving for the 25th and 50th wedding anniversary Married couples should consider their wedding day as one of the most important and cherished in their lives. It is a refreshing custom for both on every anniversary of their wedding to go to Mass and receive Holy Communion together in thanksgiving of the graces received. If possible, they should keep that day all for themselves, as if they had just been married, a one-day honeymoon. The Church approves of such a celebration. For the occasion of the silver and golden 25th and 50th wedding anniversaries, there is a Mass of Thanksgiving. This Mass is of the same class than that of bishops and priests celebrating their consecration or ordination anniversary. The Mass may be either in honour of the Most Holy Trinity or of the Blessed Virgin Mary. If so desired, the couple with their children, families and friends may walk together to the sanctuary. The pastor or celebrant may address a few words for the occasion followed by the Mass. After the last Gospel, special prayers of thanksgiving are recited by the priest and the blessing given. At the end, as on the wedding day, the priest says, Go in peace, and may the Lord be with you always. They reply, Amen.